on a night that's much bigger than just the soccer. Coach Greg Hooks and his team come up with a 4-1 victory. And, Coach, let's talk about pregame a little bit before we get into game action. Tonight was about dedicating a scoreboard and letting memories live on around here. You lost a couple of players off your team a year ago. Tonight, Mills Sproul honored with the scoreboard that will stand forever, and that is bigger than the game of soccer. Oh, certainly. And, and you know, it, probably what's happened after the accident to even an old guy like me, it, it very much puts the game in perspective. I have a tendency now during the games, it's um, it's not the end of the world. The other team scores of a goal. Sometimes you still get maybe a little too emotionally involved, but unfortunately, you know, that accident probably put it in perspective for me um, at a time maybe when I needed it most. So I try to look at getting something positive out of it. But, you know, as I would tell anybody, the scoreboard is unbelievable. It, it's changed our recruiting. It's changed the image of the stadium. But it, I would trade that scoreboard tomorrow for Mills Prowl. So, um, you know, that's just, you know, what a great kid, what a great family. His family came in to, from Birmingham today, and um, we, we're honored to have him here. We talked about the impact that those players had even beyond the very short period of time that they had here on campus, and I know there are memories you and your team will carry for a lifetime. Down to soccer tonight, your team, as difficult as it can be sometimes to play with those kind of emotions, responded well and I think paid good tribute to everything tonight was about. Yeah, we played very well. We had moments where we did not handle the game well in terms of the situation in which we were in. Um, we would we'd have a two-goal lead and then and do things that you shouldn't do when you have a two-goal lead. And that's just having a lot of young guys on the field at the same time. You know, and one thing we'll talk about on Monday is managing games better. Whether you're down by two goals or up by two goals, you have to play differently in soccer because you can't stop the ball because obviously you can't, um, you know, you can't use your hands. So you ha there are things that you do that we probably can learn from this and we the best way to learn from games where you made a few mistakes is to learn and still win the game at the same time so um, but we did great we played well I thought in terms of going forward we probably played better than we've played all year and we had a couple of guys score goals who I think needed that for their confidence so hopefully similar to you know what we had every year when that guy gets his first college goal it maybe opens up a little bit for the rest of the season one of those guys has to be Joel Bunting an assist alongside of a couple of goals big night for him oh and he's been on the verge since preseason he's been so close and he's such a hard worker he's so humble he's a yes sir no sir kid you tell him to do it and he does it and uh, we knew coming out of high school that he was a good player and um, we were right, and I, I think that he and, and several other guys are just on the verge of becoming really quality soccer players, college soccer players, early in their careers. Last one, Coach. I know you got a lot of folks to visit with. Your offense has been your best defense so far in the friendlies as well as in the start of the regular season. Tonight your offense was just straight offense. It was pretty impressive. Yeah, and once we, once we put a couple of those chances away, and of course – Gardner Webb had to start playing a little differently. They pushed a lot of numbers forward because, as we say in soccer, they're chasing the game. They were sure. trying to score some goals, so they were a little vulnerable in the back. But yeah, we um, end of the day, we still put those chances away, and it was it was great to see. Well, congratulations on a great night. I know this is one you'll remember for a number of reasons. Great, thank you so much. That's Coach Greg Hooks. His team a 4-1 victory over the running Bulldogs of Gardner Webb. Keep up with all the action at UpstateSpartans.com.